been a little bit more than a week since a loving father and grandfather lost his life in a crash involving a hit-and-run driver. The man accused of causing this tragedy is still on the run. Only on two, we hear from the son of the victim. I miss him so much. But, uh, but yeah, um, I just want the guy caught. I want answers. He was speaking with our Bill Spencer today, and Bill is joining us live now from North Harris County with that emotional interview. Bill? Bill, I am standing inside Arturo's garage, the auto repair shop that Arturo Galindo started from nothing and through his never-ending sweat and hard work built into a thriving business. Tragically, this is also the very spot where Arturo was killed last week, being crushed by a car. Heartbroken, you know. It's my dad. We miss him. We loved him. With his heart literally breaking, Arturo Galindo Jr. continues to operate the auto shop that his loving father, Arturo Galindo Sr., opened years ago after coming to this country. Galindo was tragically killed December 17th while working underneath a car he was repairing. That car was on blocks when suddenly investigators say this man, Joseph Robichaud, unexpectedly put the white van he was driving into reverse and slammed into the car that Galindo and another man were working on. In an instant, Galindo was crushed underneath. The car fell off the, the, the jack stands and the, and the block that it was on, and it, it must have dragged the car like five, six feet, and my dad was underneath there. And... I miss him so much. But, uh, but yeah, um, I just want the guy caught. I want answers. Now, Robichaud is charged with two counts of felony, failure to stop and render aid for fleeing the scene and never offering to help the two men injured in this accident. As for Arturo Galindo Jr., he says his dad will never be forgotten for all of the good Got deeds it. he did, helping people repair their cars when they were in trouble. He loved him. You know, he cared about everybody. Everybody, everybody that wanted help, he'd help them. Now, if you have any information on Robichaud, Joseph Robichaud, the man on the run, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS with any information. Also, a GoFundMe account has been set up to help the second man injured in this accident, Miguel Angel Garcia. Uh, you can access that GoFundMe account at our website, clicktohouston.com. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.